Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, this is going to be another thrift haul and I'm so so excited for it. I'm not sure if this will be going up at the end of 2022 or if it will be my first thrift haul for 2023. I absolutely love thrifting. I've been thrifting since I was 12 and I'm now 24 so I definitely have found a lot of gems in my time thrifting. So excited to share everything that I have with you guys. I have some clothing, not as much as normal which is actually okay because I haven't been needing a whole lot. I have a pair of shoes, I have literally heaps of books and heaps of homewares and I also have some Christmassy things as well. Most of this stuff to be honest has been found through trips to Hawke's Bay. There are a couple of things from Auckland and then there are some things that I have found online. Obviously I will try on all the clothing pieces as well for you guys. If you guys want to see what I have picked up this time from my thrift trips then just keep watching. Right, let's start off with clothing. So I'm gonna start off with these pink jeans here. Now I am beyond excited to have these jeans. I literally used to own these jeans in a size six back in the day. Um, I wore them in my Ed Sheeran vlog. They ended up getting too small for me and I was so gutted because they were the most perfect pair of pink jeans so i literally found the exact same pair in a size 10 in the cranford hospice in napier and i died i was so excited to find these they are just a skinny jean so i know skinny jeans aren't really popular at the moment but i feel like a pink pair generally looks a little bit smarter and these will be perfect to wear to work during like the spring and autumn time as well and i absolutely love this pale pink color i think it is Stunning. These are originally from Glassons in a size 10 and I just love the material. It's a nice stretchy pink denim as well. $4.50 so very very happy with these. So next up I might do a jacket. So I just have one jacket. Now we are literally going into summer here so I'm not going to be able to get use out of this jacket until probably the autumn winter time. And that is this really really nice teddy bear zip jacket. I felt this in the store and I was like oh my gosh I cannot leave this and this is honestly just one of the softest things I think I've ever felt it feels as soft as my teddy bear onesie which I absolutely love it's like this really nice cropped brownie beige teddy bear jacket it doesn't have pockets on the front I don't think which is the only kind of annoying thing about this and it is lined on the inside as well there's nothing worse than like when you find a nice wool jumper and it's not lined on the inside and it does have the long sleeves that are like cuffed so I just think that's fantastic this one is originally from H&M it's in a size large but I don't think it fits like a large so that jumper I found in the Salvation Army in Napier and it was only six dollars so I thought that was such a bargain the next up I will move on to a dress so I'm excited that I'm going to be able to get use out of this in the summertime but I feel like I could also get use out of this in the autumn and spring if I layered it and it is this really nice khaki green it's kind of like a midi maxi dress which is really great great because these are so hard to find in the op shops because they're trendy at the moment and so everybody flipping wants these but it's ribbed which is nice I love things that are ribbed I don't know can you guys even tell yeah you can kind of tell there like this top here is ribbed and I just I vibe with ribbed stuff I thought I would add this in I don't usually like having my shoulders out so I think with this one I probably will layer it with a jacket or if it gets really hot I don't really care too much but yeah I love this khaki color it suits me really really well this one is originally from cotton on in a size medium so I knew it was gonna fit me this one I found from the SPCA shop in Napier so I was doing a thrifting trip with Phil and Cameron so Phil is my husband Cameron is my friend so this one cost me eight dollars the last two clothing items are play suits which is really cool um I did a declutter of my play suits because some of them I just wasn't vibing anymore and I'm really just trying to keep things in this flat that we're renting that I really love so we'll start off with this pink one now I found this when I was doing a thrifting trip with my mum and my dad and my mum saw this originally and she was like oh yeah I thought you would like that but it's just this really nice pale pink romper with these little 
frilly bits. It does have a little dome thing in the middle there. It comes down in a V. It doesn't have pockets, which again is a little bit annoying, but whatever. And then it has little shorts with the little frills and then has this really cute florally print on it. So I just thought it was great. It has a little peep. It is nice and light for the summertime as well. So I thought this would just be perfect for like little walks on the beach or um, just like going out and exploring and whatnot, maybe even shopping. This one is originally from Cotton On in a size small. So I wasn't sure if it was going to fit me. So I'm not normally a small from Cotton On. I'm normally like a medium from Cotton On. But it did. And this one I found again in the Salvation Army in Napier and it was $6. The last play suit and then the last clothing item that I have for this haul is this really nice blue floral play suit. Now again I wasn't sure if this was going to fit me because it looked quite big when I looked at it on the hanger but I tried it on and I gave it a go and I was very surprised to see that it fit. I feel like on the camera it's picking up that it's more purple but it's definitely more blue in real life. Like it's closer to this colour in here whereas on the camera I feel like it looks purple. Um, but it has these little like white daisies. Again I don't think it has pockets which again is a little bit annoying because where am I supposed to put my phone? But it has little buttons coming down here. I don't even know if you guys can see. I just love play suits. I think they're just very cute. Very perfect for the summertime. This one is originally from Shopo. Um, so it's designed in Australia. It says that it's an AU14. So that's also why I was like this is not going to fit me. So I think like those online brands must run very very small in their sizing because I'm generally like a true 10 and things are like a true medium. Um, and this one again I found in the Cranford Hospice in Napier and it was only $5.50. Alrighty, next up I'm going to do a pair of shoes. Now again I was shooketh to say the least, to see these in an op shop. They are just these white superguers. Now I have been wanting to thrift a pair of white superguers for so bloody long. Now these ones here, they are technically one size too big for me. So these here are 39. Normally I'm a 38 or in some stores I'm a 37 or 36. However, it's not too big and I would normally wear socks with these as well. So I was like, you know what? I can just make them work. It doesn't really matter. And if all else fails, I can pop a little insole in with a thicker sock and then I'll be good to go. And because they have laces, I can tighten them really, really easily. Um, so this is how they look. I did actually wash these when I got home. Um, there was a bit of like yellow staining across here. So I just sprayed it with my nappy sand. I let it sit and then I chucked them in the wash and the laces came out so white. And I'm generally really happy with how these came out. <laughs> I love how they've got seven. They have Superga in there. They have little Superga on the eyelets. I have no idea if that's going to even come up. In the camera or not because it's such a fine little detail. It has the little Superga logo on here as well and they barely even look worn. I have black Supergas and now I own white Supergas as well and I'm so happy to have these in my shoe closet that I can go between. I love white sneakers, they're very easy to style for me. These ones I actually found in Hawke's Bay as well, which I was surprised because normally I can't find things like that in Hawke's Bay. I normally find Nikes but they're always like really worn through and that's about it. The rest is like number one shoes, warehouse. Those ones were from the Salvation Army in Hastings as well, so not even Napier. Hastings and they were seven dollars. Alrighty, next up I might do the Christmassy bits, I think. I'm gonna start off with this green tinsel here. Now I am so happy to have more of this green tinsel. I talked about this in my thrifted Christmas decor so if you guys missed that video I'll leave it down below and in the eye for you guys as well. But I picked up two lots of this originally from Kmart when Kmart brought them out. I think it was in 2019 and I really like the green and white tinsel. I like that it adds a little bit of something to it. They haven't brought it out since 2019 so I bought some this year that gave me a similar kind of vibe but because I already had two of these and Phil and I have a bigger tree now. We have a seven foot tree whereas before we had a six foot tree so we didn't have enough of this to do our seven foot tree so we were kind of just going to have to place it around home and we weren't actually going to be able to use it on our tree. But then the St. Vinnie's in Napier came through for me. So St. Vinnie's in Napier is 
great. I love it at Christmas time. They always have multiple tables full of Christmas stuff and that was exactly the same as this year. And it was $4. The last Christmas thing that I found in the St. Vinnie's in Napier was this little white reindeer here. Now I just think this is absolutely stunning. White I generally put in most colour schemes that I do so I thought it would go perfectly with any colour scheme that I do. So yeah, it's just like a white ceramic reindeer with these gold glittery hoods. I know this is originally from Kmart because I remember when Kmart brought this out. But I was so excited to see it in the op shop that I didn't really care. Um, this was $10, which is more than what Kmart was charging for it. I didn't care, to be honest. I just love the reindeer and I just think it's absolutely stunning. And it's going to be in my collection for a really long time as well. I might do some homewares. So I might go with the homewares that I have found in store. And then I will go with the one that I found on Facebook Marketplace. So I am going to start off with this green vase here. Now I honestly think this is one of my favourite things from this entire haul. I was so excited to see this green vase in the op shop. It, it's kind of like a pistachio green. I feel like it's coming off really bright in the ring light, but you can see against the sage green of my top. Like it's a very nice pastel pistachio green color and I love this vase. It's got a cute little angled top as well. This one just says it's designed by, is it Jaliang? J-A-L-I-A-N-G. It feels like ceramic as well, like it feels really good quality. This one I have just placed on top of our bookshelf in our living room and I've actually put my wedding bouquet in here. That's why it's gone from the background and it looks really good. I might end up relocating the vase back in here, but for now it's going to sit up there. This I found in the Cranford Hospice in Hastings as well, which I tend to find have really good vases, like this black vase over here. That was from the Cranford Hospice in Hastings and it's one of my favourite things I think that I've thrifted in the homewares department. I believe this is only $5 as well. I saw this pretty much like straight away when I went in there as well and so I knew it was going to be a good thrifting trip. Next homeware piece we have is this little love plaque thing. I just thought this was super cute when I saw it. So yeah, it's just pink and says love in these little block letters. It has a little rope hanger on the back as well. So I just have this sitting in my entryway just next to my mirror so that when you enter our flat, this is kind of what you see with the mirror. And pink is one of the colours that we've got going in this flat. So I thought it would be perfect. This I found in the Salvation Army in Napier and it was only $2 as well. The next homeware piece that I have is, again, I think the other thing that I am most excited for from this video and it is just this really cute pale pink lamp now it has this bamboo kind of stand and then the pink bit down the bottom and the pink shade um, and I tested this in the store and it works so I am so happy to have this I usually just have this sitting up on my desk here and I've ran an extension cord behind the bed and all the way around to the plug behind you guys. So I love just sitting at my desk late at night with this on and just editing. It's just such a nice vibe. And I just thought it was so incredibly cute. And this was only $12, guys. That one I found from the Salvation Army in Napier again. And then the last homeware item that I have found in store is just this really nice white little baking dish or casserole dish or whatever. I just thought this was really cute. Um, I thought I would add it into our homewares store stuff it's slightly ribbed and yeah it came out really nice in the wash it didn't really have any staining or anything on the inside anyway so I thought it would be a pretty safe bet this one is dishwasher safe microwave safe and oven proof and it's made in Japan as well and it's pretty solid like it's really good like ceramic and this one was only a dollar from the St. Vinnie's in Napier so I just thought it would be really nice it's nice to have just like a small little tin and it would actually fit in our oven as well because we have quite a small oven in this flat so thought this would be perfect and then the last homeware piece that I have, I can't show you guys because it is just massive, quite frankly, and very, very heavy. Okay, hopefully I'm in kind of the same position. My battery just died, so I just changed it over to my other one. So yeah, as I was saying, this piece has been found through Facebook Marketplace, 
and I am so excited for this guys and I think again this is one of my most favorite things that I've ever thrifted online I think but it is just this massive wall art print of some toy toy so I will overlay some footage of it now so you guys can see it but it's essentially yeah this really gorgeous print of these dried toy toy leaves and this nice white frame as you guys can see we have hung it up on the back wall in our kitchen as well i absolutely hated the little apple print that we had there i used to love it back in the day when we bought it but it just didn't really go with our colors anymore and it was always too small for the space so i wanted something that was slightly bigger and because we've got a lot of dried florals around the place like we've got these ones here we've got some in the bedroom and we've also got some in the living room as well it kind of just ties everything all together fills up the gap on the wall a lot better and this was on only $10 guys. Um, it was in Auckland as well so I just went to go and pick it up one night. Oh I lie sorry I had one more homeware piece that was kind of tucked away so this I did buy in store as well. And it is just a very tiny small whisk. So I didn't have a small whisk in my kitchen bits and bobs so I thought I would grab one because they come in handy quite a lot um, especially for like making drinks or like very delicate baking that like, you don't really want to use a massive one if you're just doing like like something small and I believe this one was only a dollar from the St. Vinny's and Napier. Alrighty next up I'm gonna do a game now I can't take credit for this actually my dad found this in the Cranford Hospice in Hastings he thought he would grab it for me so shout out to my dad for finding this but it is just a very classic edition of Monopoly. So this is just very old school like let me show you guys the board it's low-key falling apart a little bit but like just such an old school piece like you can tell by the graphics on it as well like it's very very old it was actually manufactured in great britain by john weddington limited london and leeds everything is just so old like the money's old the properties are old the little houses and stuff are actually made out of wood as well and the little bits and pieces are like is it tin aluminium they're metal, metal pieces. They're not like manufactured. They're like real metal pieces. And I just thought that was such a cool little find that dad managed to find. And dad knows that like one of my goals in life is to have a Monopoly collection. And I'm doing very well on that at the moment. I think I probably have about 10 of them or so. And then the last few things that I have thrifted are all books. So I've actually managed to find a lot of books lately. I also have a, another book haul going up, like a secondhand book haul um, that Phil and I found in a book fair that we went to actually just this afternoon. I believe that video is up, so if it is up, I will leave it down below. So I have a couple of kids' books, a cooking book, and then the rest are all fiction. So I might start off with the kids' books first. I have this book here which I just think is a classic in any New Zealand households for Christmas and it is A Kiwi Night Before Christmas. This is by Yvonne Morrison and Deborah Hind and our Christmas here in New Zealand is in summer. It's not in winter so this is basically a summer edition a very Kiwi edition like Santa rides in on a tractor with a whole bunch of sheep in his shorts. My parents have a copy of it in their house and so when I saw it in the op shop, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get my own copy of this. It does say that it includes a music CD, which I, did I even keep? Oh yeah, we did. We kept the little CD that it comes with. And this one was only 20 cents. 20 cents, guys. The warehouse wants 20 bucks for this in the Salvation Army in Hastings. And then the last kids item that I have, I am so excited to have. Now this I actually found at a school gala. So Phil and I went to a school gala that happens annually up here in Auckland it's very close to where we live but the only book that kind of stood out to us to get is this one so this is the look and tell bible so it says hear it see it say it so Phil and I my husband by the way if you guys don't know who Phil is we are both Christian so we want to raise our kids Christian and so we just thought this bible would be very very cute to start them off with when they're a lot younger I did buy a kids bible in my last thrift haul so if you guys missed that haul I'll leave it down below but I would say it's probably for when they get a bit older maybe around like five maybe four if they're careful four five six whereas this one I could read with them when they're like two or three so they're like cardboard pages so it makes things a little bit easier and so it's kind of just like different stories 
and you have like the things here that they need to say so when you're reading the story they can point and say what you kind of need them to say so there's one in creation and it says like god made the and has a picture of the world and so you just refer to like the earth over here and get them to say earth we also have things like noah's ark have the story of joseph moses David and Goliath, Daniel in the lion's den, Jesus is born, <laughs> so cute. And then I think the last one in this is Easter. I just thought that would be a good thing to start our kids off on. Again, I am not pregnant, but when I see things like this, I just grab them and I put them away because I just think this is such a good little find. It's in perfect condition as well, so the child that had this before, Phil and I bought it, well done well done to you because you have kept this book so incredibly nice um and this was only 50 cents so next up i'll do the cookbook so i managed to find this when i was in hawks bay and my mum actually has this cookbook so i think my dad actually found this for me and gave it to me and he's like mum's got this there's some good recipes in this so that's essentially why i bought it this is the grand's family table by natalie oldfield and yeah there's just a lot of classic recipes in here that my mum makes so it has like a little family spread um and then it is like a picture book there's different sections there's like double page spreads here we go there's an intro breakfast lunch dinner salads and sides puddings preserves and sauces conversion chart index acknowledgements and about the author so there's a lot in here and so we didn't really need any cookbooks but i just thought this would be a good one to have and i know if mum likes a lot of the recipes in here then i can make some of the things that she makes and this one was only four dollars from the salvation army in napier and so lastly we move on to all the fiction books so i'm going to show you one book that isn't christian fiction or kind of classified as Christian fiction and then the last five books are all Christian fiction. So I managed to find this book here on Facebook Marketplace. Now what's her username? Halion Bookland? She on YouTube raves about this book so I thought I would pick it up and see what the hype is about it, why she loves it so much. So this one is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. Essentially it follows the story of a girl who has a genetic trait that her family is born with wings and so they live in Earth and they are just trying to navigate growing up being different from everybody else. So I thought it would be an interesting read. I haven't really read anything like it before and I just thought it was a beautiful cover as well. This I found on Facebook Marketplace and it was free. I am so happy. Um, again, this was local to Auckland, so I went to go and pick it up. And then the last five books are all part of the series. So they are all these ones here. Now, Rachel, if you're watching, I have more of the, the series. So this brings back great memories. So this is part of the Left Behind series. So there is, I believe, 12 books in the Left Behind series. And I think there are some prequel ones and some after ones as well. So I need to like figure out those as well. And I kind of want to get my hands on those too. These are some of them here. We have a couple on our shelf at the moment as well. On our shelf, we have Left Behind, which is the first book. Soul Harvest, which is the fourth. And A Pollen, which is the fifth. So I got some to go in between. But I'll start off with these three. So these three I bought on Facebook Marketplace from a seller in Tauranga. He had the entire set, but these were the only ones he had left. And then he had a couple that we already had. So I didn't want to get those. These ones cost me $26.20, including postage. So all of the books are $5 each. So $15 for the book. This guy was the nicest guy I have ever dealt with on Facebook Marketplace. Always really quick to reply, really quick to get them sent out. And just a really lovely human being. Phil and I bought Tribulation Force, which is the second book. I feel like we used to have this, but I have absolutely no idea where it's gone i feel like we lent it out to somebody so we just thought we'd grab another one in the meantime that way we've just got the whole set then we have nikolai which is the third book these ones by the way are written by tim lahaye and jerry b jenkins soul harvest is the fourth book apollon is the fifth book we don't have book six as of current so book six is assassins and then there's book seven which is this one this is the indwelling book eight which is the mark which we don't have the last two books that i have in this entire thrift haul i found in store from the cranford hospice in napier and they're only two dollars each we have desecration which is book nine and then the remnant which is book 10 so i think from book 
seven, they start to go hardback. Happy to have these. So we only need book six, book eight, book 11 and 12 to finish the series. So we're almost there. Um, but Rachel and I read the series in high school and absolutely loved it. Essentially, it is kind of a retelling of Revelation from, I think it's the Dispensational View. The one John MacArthur believes in. It's that one. It's the one I hold to. I just can't remember what it's called. So this series takes that concept and turns it into a story that is relatable and you can understand. So it is fiction, but it has elements of religious truth in it. So I really love the series. I really want to collect the entire series. Phil has read the first one, I believe. I'm constantly searching Marketplace and I'm constantly searching the op shop. So yeah, that is everything that I have for this video that I have managed to thrift as of current. I do plan to do more thrift with me's in the new year as well, so get excited for that. I love thrifting. It's a great sustainable thing for the environment and you get so much more for your money and so much choice as well and you never really know what you're going to find, which I think is so much fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Please make sure to turn on the notifications and check out my social media. It's always linked down below in the description box. If you guys want to watch any more thrifting related content that I have done, I will leave the playlist down below and in the eye for you guys as well. And if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, make sure you do. It is just at Little Miss Obsessed because I always post on my stories before I make these videos as well. So if you want to keep up with me in real time of what I'm thrifting, follow my Instagram. And I have got a little highlight reel as well called thrifting. So I update that constantly. I think that's everything. I'm going to go and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye.